Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance. This resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Anonymous, and here's a story. My parents always talked and bragged about their idyllic marriage. My mother was the narcissist and my father was her partner in crime. They only had one child, me. You've done videos for me before. Both of my parents died several years ago and my mother left their million dollar estate to my uncles, my mother's brothers, and she left me ten dollars. You've made several videos about my mother's narcissism and you once told me she's one of the worst narcissists you ever heard of. One thing that I think a lot, I think about a lot and can't seem to shake is how pr proud my parents were of their marriage. They told me many times when I was growing up that they were the love, they were the loves of each other's lives. My mother actually told me that I'm going to be such a well-adjusted adult because I got to witness this perfect marriage every day. When my father was dying, he told me, I'm so lucky I married your mom. She gave me a great life. <clears throat> Okay, I just need to stop right here and go on a bit of a tangent. In the last 15 years of their lives together, my mother became quite mentally ill. She thought the FBI was following her. She canceled newspaper subscriptions because she, because she thought the FBI was sending her messages through the newspaper. My father really my father used to really like the Sunday paper but all newspaper was banned from the house. She became a hoarder and wouldn't let my father fix anything. Just as an example, she just he wanted to replace some of the corroded bathroom fixtures in their house and she wouldn't let him. That's just one example of many repairs she wouldn't let him make. He once told me he found her in the middle of the night just lighting matches on the kitchen counter. And she had all sorts of other issues that I won't go into uh, in this letter. In 2002, my father asked me to help with my mother. This is when I first found out about her bizarre behavior. I tried my best. I spent hours researching mental illness. I made appointments with psychiatrists to get their advice. I made an appointment with a psychiatrist in their town. I called my father and said, I made you an appointment with this doctor. He sounds so nice and willing to help. He said you should meet with him solo first and then you two can come up with a game plan. My father wouldn't take the appointment because he was afraid the doctor would commit my mother to an institution. I told him that's legally impossible, but he refused to listen. I told him it wouldn't be a bad idea to consult a lawyer and understand his and her rights before trying to get help. He dismissed that. <clears throat> But he periodically would ask me to help. I made an appointment with a therapist in their area. He refused that appointment because there was nothing a therapist can do to help him with. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. I know what's going on here. I know what's going on here. He liked it. He liked it. And it wouldn't surprise me if he was the one driving her fucking insane to begin with. Trust me, he plays into her psychosis. Why? Because it makes him look the victim. It gives him attention. Attention he will do nothing about. It's his way of being almost a hoarder, of controlling through hoarding. Instead, he's just hoarding your time with all this nonsense. I told him shortly after that I was done trying to help. My grandmother called me and said I wasn't honoring my mother because I wasn't helping. I said, what exactly do you and my father want me to do? Her answer was that, I was that I was to leave my husband and move back with my parents and take care of my mom full time. See, that's what the plan was. That's what the whole fucking plan was, was to manipulate you. Your grandmother told you to divorce your... Wow. <laughs> that's when I had the thought that maybe my mother wasn't mentally ill. But this was some huge fabrication to manipulate me. Anyway, I'm sorry for the tangent, but I think about how my parents always bragged about their idyllic marriage. I think about how when my father was dying, he was still trying to talk about his perfect wife and how she made him a perfect life. When I think about my childhood, I do remember them being close and spending lots of time together. But they both hated me and hated being with me. So maybe my memories are screwed up. 
Do you think it's possible for two narcissists like my parents to abuse and alienate their only child, but also have an idyllic marriage? Why is that so important to them? Anonymous. Because it's an image. It's all about the image and not about the reality. Listen, they were all about, yeah, as far as an idyllic marriage is, as long as it's all about them, it's idyllic. And no one else. And no one else. It's idyllic as long as you were taking care of them and doing everything you wanted them to do. Hence why you got cut out of the will. I thought it was one or two things. It sounded like your mother was either faking it or your father or they were in on a game together. Your father's causing it. But it makes sense. They're in on a game together for control. I do remember you haven't written in in a while. So I, I do remember I do remember you getting cut out in the ten dollar thing. Look, narcissists run a plan for their entire lives that you're not involved in. It's about controlling you. It's all about controlling you. And for your grandmother to tell you to go back and take care of them, it just shows like they're, 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 there's a family psychosis in your family. Yeah, they're, they're, there's mental problems. But all of a sudden, the government's trying to get, get at your mother? Come on. Come on. That doesn't just come on. That's schizophrenia. And there's no way your father would have been putting on. No way. It was all, it's all a ploy to get you to move back home. To get you to take care of them. And when you didn't do that, you were cut out. Just because you're miserable doesn't mean your parents aren't happy. Don't judge the narcissist's happiness on your own. Okay? Their happiness, their... I, it depends on what your idea of an idyllic marriage is. They're bent. So just because their the, their words are meaningless, they're meaningless. You got to look at their actions, their labels, their words that they give themselves are meaningless. So I think you're focused way like you wanted them to admit they're bad people and they had this miserable man. It's never well. They're dead now. What you have to realize is your parents were just fucking bad people okay who are so your parents insanity wasn't in wasn't in your mother's wasn't in your mother's sticking the fbi's out together that wasn't real this is a real insanity understand where the narcissist real psychosis is you're caught up on the imagery of trying to t forget it forget it Understand where it's coming from. Understand that that your father, your parents were happiest when they were fucking with you and making themselves to be the victims. So, in their minds, they had an idyllic marriage, I'm sure, but not in reality. So, I hope that helps. Thank you so much for your contribution and your story. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comments section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up Skype, a phone call, have a private video made or a Facebook live chat, or you'd like to sponsor a video like this for someone who needs help and can't afford it or just make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it successful, growing, and advancing because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you, all of this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance.